Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we find ourselves at a traffic stop. Well, not so much a traffic stop, but this uh, gentleman right here has been uh, trying to get his daughter out of the car for quite a while because apparently she was kicked out of rehab and he has tried to help her out. But, well, the situation has become quite desperate with her and, uh, well, he just can't seem to cope with it anymore. I mean, I've seen people like this before as far as she goes, and it's not ever pretty. So let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Why isn't she getting out? I don't know. She's a, got a lot of problems in life. I can't seem to solve them. Oh, yeah, I can feel this father's pain. I mean, I've often given rides to uh, people who are less than grateful to even get the ride. Scratch that. It was just really one person who was not that grateful, and I managed to teach him a lesson by making him walk home. But let's carry on and see how this plays out, because I'm sure this will be quite entertaining. But he has the key to the car, so I'm just waiting on him to get out of the building. You're waiting on him to what? To get out of the building? To come drive the car? <laughs> um, he just parked us here, so I don't know. Yeah, but you you know he doesn't have to drive you anywhere, but it's his car. He doesn't have to take you anywhere if he doesn't want to. I understand. Well, he already took me here, so I'm in the car. I'd, I'd like to, you know, go back to my house whenever he's ready, basically. So I'm just sitting in the car. Okay, but... Do you realize that if he doesn't want to take you, you have to get out because it's his car, it's his property? I don't think so. I th yeah, yeah, it is his car. He dictates who can be in it, who can't be in it, who he drives, and who he doesn't drive. And it doesn't even matter if you're related to them or not. If they don't want you in your vehicle, you're not going to be in their vehicle. And they can call the police. No, it, I'm letting you know. No. But that's how that works. Okay, well, I'm going to be sitting here. <laughs> So, whenever he's ready. But he doesn't want to drive. You don't want to drive her home? No, I do not. I think he might no, be having not. some sort of like is... like early dementia or something, but he is yeah, not acting like himself. Um, we were just going to go to Starbucks, and then he said that he had to go, and I can't remember if he said he needed to take a package somewhere. She had me bring her down here. I, I got her a couple of gift cards because she doesn't have a job. He did. He, well, he just apartment. got me a gift She's card. She's supposed to be in a rehab facility, but somehow managed to get kicked out of it and showed up back at the apartment. So I felt sorry for her. My mistake. Oh, okay. It's beginning to make a lot more sense. She just got kicked out of a rehab facility, so which means she's had some... Uh, Drug abuse in the past, that's an issue. Yeah, I'm beginning to see the picture now. And I've dealt with people like that before. And you've got to let them hit rock bottom before they realize that they have to get out of the pit. Be because if you keep on helping them then being their support net, then they will never get over it. Well, that's the way I've seen it work out with a lot of people that I've known in that particular scenario. But I'm not going to say it's uh, a one. 100% foolproof idea. Gave her more money, gave her more things to do, took her here so she could get food. Not only did she not get food, she refused to get out of the car, and now she refused well, to I'm get just, out of it at all. I'm and just I trying to spend the, the, the day with I'm them. Sorry, or like, crazy, go out and run errands. We're just trying to run errands. Um, you said she was evicted from the apartment. Does she not ha so that's not where she lives anymore? I still live there. She is in the process of eviction. I don't think okay. they've got a final order for it yet. Okay. So she can still be there. But she doesn't really want it either. Um, where I live normally. I'm not trying to live in this car. You know what I mean? So Yeah, but you're not trying to get out of this car. Correct. Which right now, now you're leaving a law because it's not your car. So you're trespassing. So I go on Ubers. I okay. Go on Ubers With or... the permission of the person. He does not want you in his car. You're trespassing mm, in no, his truck. Okay, so we can play this game, but you're going to get arrested. I mean, that's literally how it's going to be, or you could just step out of the car. Like, I'm not trying to be mean to you, but I'm trying to explain something to you, and you're not really willing to listen. Um, you explained it to me, but I would like to shut my door now. I'm not doing that. It's not your door. It's not your car. Okay, I'll just ignore that one. Just get out, Alex. You're making a show His up. His door? 
I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to make a show out of it. It's just like, it's frustrating. Wow, if she gaslights her father just as much as she has been gaslighting this officer, then I can understand why her father doesn't want her around. I mean, damn, this is really pathetic. See the problem. I didn't want to touch her at this point. No, I understand. I mean, it's definitely your car and you want her out of the car. Can you remember that, please? I, I shouldn't have agreed to do it. She's had long time. 64 problems. wolves, it's about 28. Enabling this bad behavior. And um, it's my fault. I, I enabled one more time. So it's not your car. If you want to you're trespassing. You gotta get him out. Well, I think there's a misunderstanding. I think something's going on with my dad because he's not acting like himself. No, he's acting pretty normal to me. No, I think he's acting like he's got a problem. Four-door registered to Jackson. Oh, projection much? I mean, you're projecting all your current faults onto your father, which could be a sign of whatever mental illness has got a hold of you. I mean, I can't diagnose you, of course, but but you really need to get yourself checked out. Maybe, like, he has early onset, like, dementia, Alzheimer's. Can we talk about that? No, no. You guys are right here. I'm fine. I'm not stepping out. Um, and I feel like usually you ask people not to step out of the car. But why won't you get out? Why don't you want to get out? Um, it's on principle. Uh, but, but you understand that you're probably going to end up going to jail then, right? You do know that usually, like, if you pulled me over on a highway, we'd both have to pull, pull over, park together. We're not doing and that. And I would not be allowed out of my vehicle, in fact. You'd say, roll down the window and please present your papers to me. That's what you would say. And I would give but you I may sometimes. I also ask a lot of people out of the car, too. Okay, well, this isn't... Like, but your dad wants you out of the this car. This doesn't feel like, um a very real situation like and it doesn't feel like we're bothering anyone so do you want to press charges for trespassing i do i mean you can't just press charges like that dumbass you dumbass you're a dumbass such a dumbass you're an ass and just who told you you couldn't press charges like that let me guess was it uh was it Denver Metro Audits or was it Sean Paul Reyes? I mean, can you give us a little bit of inside information on who it was that told you this misinformation? Okay. You can. No, you can't. So do you want to get out of the car or not? Um, you, don't you guys have anything better to do today? We actually do. Yeah, like, so I don't know so what you guys are like up to. Why don't you guys have your cars? I don't want to take we a ride to the jail. Do. I would I love to. I would hate I, you know what? That. I love riding around places. I love going on errands. I love driving. Love all of it. This is going to be one of those situations on when you go down to the jail, people are like, what are you in for? And you say, because I wouldn't get out of the car. People are going to be like, that's a stupid reason to go to jail. Yeah, I mean, really, there's really not a really good reason to go to jail, but that's really stupid. Well, it's more stupid of you guys, because it's just a lot of paperwork and a we lot of trouble. Here, but we, we're public servants. We've been called here. You're we've not a summoned. servant. We've been summoned here. So we're here to solve a problem. Unfortunately, Do you have a payroll? The problem is that you're in the car. Is to solve the problem. I don't think there's not a solution. Hey, there are solutions to every kind of problem. There just may not be solutions that uh, are favorable to the uh, wanted outcome to the problem. Such as in this case right here. It may not be favorable to your opinion for you to exit the vehicle and walk home, but that would be a way to end this problem right here. But you just don't want to cater to that particular solution right there because, well, you are just too thick-headed to understand it. There isn't a solution. The, the solution is that you step out, either stand over here, you could sit, there's a bench over here, there's a bench there, there's a bench over there. Okay, yeah, go ahead and stand out of the car. <laughs> no, I stepped out. It's fine. Please allow me to. No, you're not closing door. the door. So I don't want to shut it on you. I don't want to well, like. Don't. I can promise you, you're not. Please stop touching you. this car because it's not your car. It's not yours either. Well, that's okay. Right, you're gonna end up. No. Gonna end up right you are. Now. Stop. Step on out. I'm just gonna pull you out. I mean. At the end of the day, you're going to come out of the car, so do we have to make this harder? I don't want to. Don't pull my arm out of its well, socket. Please step out. Don't touch me. Just hold, we'll just get the statement. We're not in a hurry. Okay. Don't touch me. Don't molest me. Please. What's going to end up happening is we're going to end up having to use force on I would like to press charges for assault. An well, assault charge. Assault. I just was assaulted. It was. Battery. So, I want to press charges for battery. <laughs> I uh, know uh, your father wants you out of that car, and if the officers have to pull you out of there, that's not going to be battery. That's going to be them doing their jobs at this point by getting you out of the car safely, without injury, if at all possible. You don't get that. 
I want to press charges. It's unlawful. I would you, like to press charges. You don't get to. I'm being held against my will. What the fuck? <laughs> And here I thought that frauditors were nothing but a bunch of moronic piles of trash with no brains whatsoever. And here you come proving that there are people dumber than them. Th that is just amazing. Great, get out of the car. <laughs> no, here I'm being held against my will. Please leave. No. So these are the options. You can get out of the car, you can leave on your own accord, you can walk away, or you're going to end up going with us. Get a judge or something. Like, I don't I don't know what else to tell you. Get a judge and a jury and take me to trial. Like, I don't really understand. So Mail me some papers. I mean, I don't know. What, like, what would you like to mail me? Uh, whatever the charges are. Like, let me know. Well, right now, are you going to give me a ticket? Why don't you just press? give me a ticket? Well, we could give you, but you have to get out of the car. That's the problem. So the main problem or a verbal is warning? No, Be like, hey, please don't sit in people's cars so, again if they don't want you in them. So that, we've tried that. We're trying to get you out. No, you didn't. That's but anyway. Fine. Um, so my dad issue. is obviously like demented and he's got like an issue that I can't diagnose, right? Um, I'm, I don't know what to do because he's getting older. Yes, in fact, we live at the same building. Okay. I am his caretaker. So, you're his caretaker? Yes, I am. Fine. And you know what? And how do you care for him? Um, I take care of him. How? Um, I take care of him. You work? Yes, I do. I, I work a lot. I do things. I just do things. It doesn't matter. What do you do? You sound a lot like my brother used to sound before do? he burned my mom's house down. What do you do? You just like police stuff? What is that? Like, what is policing? That, that is literally my job. I'm a, <sighs> a, a supervisor. But here's the issue. Your father is wanting you out of the car. He's yeah. willing to press charges. Therefore... You're going to end up going with us because you're refusing to get out of the car. We, I literally cannot be nicer to you. It's like, what if we're in my doorway at my house and like Again, you were scenario. holding it? Different scenario. Different rules, different times, different things. Okay, This isn't your car. Is that your street? It's part of the city. Is that your pavement? It's the cities. Or is just that your stone? It's the cities. Okay, so the city. Okay, in the break. Who runs the city? Who's like who owns the pavement? I want to talk to whoever owns the road. Who do you think that would be? I don't know. Well, I, I think know. you would have to try to get in contact with them or something. Well, I don't know. I don't know. Talk to the bank that like rents out that pavement. I don't know what to tell you. Call someone. But it'd be really cool if you would just let me shut the door. I'm not a dog dying in a hot car. Okay. You go by Alex Alexander. Or you go by what am I called? No, what are you going to Do you like to be called Alex Alexander? I don't like to be called at all. You know what? Oh, I don't like to be called at all. Okay, what? what is your name? Do you want to put where you see your daughter? Why do you need to know that? All right, all right Alexandria. I'm again going to politely ask you to get out of the car. I would tell you my name if I wanted to. Things are going to go not your way in a minute. I don't have them. And I would prefer I them not them. go down that way. Yeah, but they're going to yeah. get worse. They're going to get worse. Because what's going to end up happening is you're going to get take, forcefully taken out of the car, and I don't want to do that. Whatever. Because I don't want to, I don't want us to get it hurt, and I want you to get hurt. So I really would like you to get out of the car so that we don't have to force you to get out of the car, or that force doesn't have to be used. Defiance. That's your choice. Defiance. Yeah. So you understand the risk that you're taking with this, right? <sighs> okay. Oops. Um. No. Um, you're helping me. What are you doing? Where are you? No, I'm not going to do why. Put your hands behind your back. No. You're under arrest. No. You're going to be facing arrest. I'm not under arrest. arrest. I'm are. under cardiac arrest. <laughs> no. You're going to be under arrest for trespassing and resisting. You can't do that. We can. can. No, you're not going to. You're not going to. Stop. Stop. I wish we didn't have to. Stop. I wish we didn't have Stop. to. Stop. We tried to work it out with you. Stop. And for whatever reason you decided Stop. to. Stop. Stop policing me. Bye, Alex. I'm sorry that this is the way that we have to go. This is not the law. This isn't 
And well, there you have it, folks. I mean, stupid is as stupid does. And given the look on this face right here, this is the look of somebody who's been on drugs for quite a while and, well, is in desperate need of ways to get off of those drugs. And I've seen that uh, general look on people's faces uh, that I know who are on it. And, yeah, it's always the same thing. They act like this and... uh yeah, they have to hit rock bottom before they can find their way out and get clean. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one.